Hey everyone, Rick with Rick's 135th scale models with a product review. So, just picked this up. This is a new kit by Tacom, but it is a combination of this kit, the T3, and this kit, which I've tried to practice pronunciation that, uh, basically it's a forklift. Um, they've combined these two kits. Um, you can still find them, but if you buy them in the box here, it's the exact same kit and you can get it at a lot better price. So let's take a look at the product itself and kind of talk about it. Okay, so let's take a look at the manuals. It's going to come with two manuals. You're going to have one for the T3 and then one for the forklift. So let's take a look at the T3 first. So one of the things first is it's kind of a small manual. Uh, but they do have a uh, layout of the spruce sheets that you'll need and they go right into the uh, building of the vehicle uh, like a lot of vehicles undercarriage wheels rims things like that uh, interior parts of the vehicle working your way through it get your seats gluing all those together Putting in all the glass and all that. Pretty straightforward. They do give you multiple options. Um, one of the things I like about Tacom and some of the other companies is uh, they give you a nice color scheme for painting the vehicle. So this is that. You've got your uh, obviously the ISAF version here in the uh, green. That's uh, saying down here reference a 2013 era. And you're going to have a camouflage version. It's also saying 2013, and then this is a 1997 camoing here. That's the uh, T3, not a lot to it, pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's take a look at the forklift instructions. Um, you're going to have four different versions you can build a uh, one with a plow, short forks, long forks, or a uh, boom type crane. Going through the instructions, you've got your spruce sheet. Then you jump right into the actual assembly of the vehicle, your suspension and that. All these parts here are not to be glued, so they actually can uh, turn the front tires and pivot. You've got your spare tire in the back. Going through all these, your tow rod. building the uh, supports. This is the uh, PVE sheet basket I was talking about earlier. You've got your exhaust pipes, different protective uh, elements here, along with your uh, crew member seats. Building the boxes they sit in, along with your steering, all those types of devices, windshield wipers, interiors, and etc. Here's your lift portion of the vehicle along with the uh, cabling setup to elevate and lower it. Then you can go into if you're going to build the crane setup, here's that, or the short forks here, long forks, or the plow. Then they get into the uh, painting of the vehicle. You've got a couple different versions. You got the straight green here. Another straight green, then you have the camouflage version here. Camel pattern that it has, and looking at real pictures, it looks pretty straightforward. And then they have this off color here, um, which is kind of a gray. And then they show some of the other models they have out. So, going through the model, here would be one of the sets of glass. The plastic is clear, it's well made. Uh, you've got your windows, some tail lights, uh, different smaller windows and parts, uh, real clear, real good quality plastic. And then for the T3, here's the glass for that same thing, uh, well made, uh, protected in the plastic so they're not all scuffed up, real high quality, your lenses for your headlights even have the pattern of the headlight in it, which is a real nice to see. Here's going to be a look at part of the 
forklift. You've got uh, all the little parts, pieces, and uh, detail. The uh, quality of this plastic is really nice. Interesting is how the steering wheel set up and looking at real pictures, um, they actually didn't put a third spoke in here, so this is more accurate. Uh, sometimes in some of the German vehicles they'll do more of a North American style with the three spokes where a lot of the Europeans you, you see the two spoke like this such as like the man trucks things like that um, anyway not a whole, no flashings uh, real good quality you can see some of the smaller details here you know, the little handle really good quality on that here you're gonna see your doors parts here fenders some of the framing of the doors at the rear same thing you get some good quality uh, detailing some of these little parts here a little bit of cleanup nothing major probably not even going to be able to see it once the model is completed here's going to be part of the suspension and framing you can see the axles here and the uh, differentials those parts really nice detail along with the tow line that uh, goes underneath the vehicle here you can see some of the equipment of the vehicle. You've got shovels, different tanks, parts, grills, more of the different tools, your uh, drive shafts with the little parts here, really good detail there. Front and back. Here's going to be some more of the main parts, doors, siding. A lot of little details, real uh, good quality casting on all this. See the details in the back side of the casting. This sheet you're going to have two separate and identical castings of the same sprue sheet. You've got your rims, some more of your uh, tanks, chalking, different uh, lines. This is probably for the winch. You'll see the uh, cable system there and the chain. An idea of the back side of this. Real good quality again. A little bit of flashing here. A uh, little sprue pieces to cut off but uh, this usually cleans up really nicely. And here's going to be the main frame of this vehicle. Once again you can see the detail. Different parts there. The underside. Really nice quality. Here you're going to have the tires for the vehicle. You got your spare tire and then the others. Real good tread pattern. Really uh, realistic. Nice quality. A little on the shiny side, but they're very pliable and soft, so uh, easily you can sand them down and. Uh, rub them up a little bit make them look a little more realistic and here's the PE sheet you'll have the uh, fuel tanks this is uh, some grading and boxing and then this is a storage basket that sits on the vehicle and then uh, not sure what this parts for until I build it but real good quality etching here's the decal sheet you've got um, your weight your marking some uh, different uh, manufacturer markings here uh, unit description and then um, some personalized things they've done on the vehicle obviously Odin and or Thor depending on what you're making along with uh, three variations of the license plate so and then some uh, placarding decals and different things this will be parts for the T3 you can see on inside uh, details for inside the vehicle your back hatch parts of your back hatch uh, here your sliding door some seats different parts here this is going to be for the hatch to lock it open this is the back of the seats and you can see you have to put the backing here to uh, finish the seat off but it still will look real sharp and then the inside of the door itself this will be some more interior parts and suspension along with your uh, spare tire and uh, other tire the rims for those um, parts of your bumper transmission the front grille the doors the seat backs for all these seats uh, windshield wipers different interior parts uh, hubcaps brake drums 
turn signals or turn mirrors, uh, rear view mirrors, etc. Suspension and that. Real good detail along with the gear shift. Back side inside of the doors. Pretty basic and simple. Along with their plating there. Really nice detail there. Nice thing about the springs, um, there's not a lot of interior clean up there, so what you can see of them will look real sharp and nice. And then the brakes have the calipers on the inside and the outside, so a real sharp detail there. On this brew sheet, you're going to have your main pan, the uh, underside of the vehicle, you have a trunk area there, um, some of your door interiors here, dash, more of the suspension seats, some framing, uh, exhaust pipes, those types of things. You can see the back side of this. None of these are going to be visible, so none of this really is that important. A little bit of sprue here, you're going to have to make sure you clip off or it's going to make a fitting an issue. And you're going to have the main body of the vehicle. Uh, a lot of sprue here, and they've added in obviously to keep this stable uh, before purchase, but uh, once this is cleaned up, It'll look real sharp. One of the things that's noticed about this is, is this is pretty thin plastic, um, so you're not having an oversized done. There's only a few little dots here uh, to sand down. That's nothing major to clean up. Uh, good uh, conformity, real uh, nice packaging, so it's, it's a well protected part. You can also see inside there you've got your uh, visors, the back hatch opening, some of the different body parts. Here's going to be your tires, uh, pretty small, but uh, real sharp looking, They're very uh, soft and pliable, uh, um, no real markings on these either inside like you would have like the uh, some of the markings. Um, things like that though a lot of times with an X-Acto knife if you're real delicate you can make little indications to show uh, the Viet tire size and those that you see on the real tires. And you have your decal here. You're going to have obviously your German markings, some of the uh, dash markings. Uh, you only have one license plate option with this vehicle. Uh, then you have ISAF and then uh, SFOR decals depending on where you're doing along with the uh, Arabic writing here if you're doing the ISAF version. The final spruce sheet is going to be your figure. Uh, he's got his uh, body armor here. No uh, equipment attached to it but um, really nice detail there. Not a, not a lot of uh, lines or flashing or anything like that to sand. The uh, face detail is uh, good quality. It comes with one rifle which uh, real good quality and detail on that. Uh, real sharp looking. See the back side of all that. Really sharp. Looking at the hands they're wearing gloves. Uh, makes it a little easier on the painting and that. That's a look at the uh, two models, the assembly process. Uh, really nice kit, really good quality. Tacom did a good job here. I, I know they're both kits that they've already introduced out there, but by combining them together, it's an affordable price for two really nice models. Uh, anybody who's doing any of the modern Bundeswehr type things, these are things you're going to need in the background. You know, they use lots of these vehicles, they use lots of these. Um, very useful. So, anyway. Take care, everybody. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me, either on my Facebook page, uh, email, or uh, just type in a comment or question in the uh, lower portion of the text, and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as possible. Take care, everybody. See you on the next one. More videos coming soon, and have a great day. Bye-bye.